Hi, I'm Andre Minkov, the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw up. This time around, it's HBO that owns the trademark Game of Thrones filing a trademark opposition against Game of Thorns. No! Now let me read it from the article and you will always find the link in the description below. So HBO, producers of the popular television series Game of Thrones, has filed an opposition against the trademark applications for Game of Thorns and the stylized version of Game of Thorns shown here. Uh, HBO alleges that the use of Game of Thorns by the trustees of Rancho Santa Ana Botanic Garden is likely to cause confusion. So you can read all the legal stuff uh, and uh, unless the thought is that consumers will notice the difference between thrones and thorns however our consumers are likely to believe that HBO misspelled its name confusion seems unlikely depends on really how you define confusion HBO goes on to allege dilution uh, as well uh, it does not seem likely that a botanic garden will tarnish the image of the world of Westeros and Essos and as well with the likelihood of confusion tarnishment by blurring would seem to require that consumers won't notice the difference between thrones and thorns or are likely to believe that HBO misspelled its name. Botanic Garden is clearly making a pun. While many regard puns as the lowest form of humor, one must ask if they are prohibited by trademark law. It seems that if most people get the joke, there can be no likelihood of confusion or dilution because getting the joke relies upon knowing the difference between a throne and a thorn. Not getting the joke, however, might indicate at least the possibility of confusion. This would mean that trademark law might apply. While we don't want trademark law interfering with good jokes, it, if it can stop bad jokes, then it's probably a good thing. But we'll have to wait and see whether or not trademark trial and appeals board gets the joke. Now, I've uh, made these comments many times and this is just another example. Uh, normally, a trademark only covers your products and services that you've claimed in your trademark application and that you're actually delivering to the market. So if somebody was to come up with a similar name for a completely different product or service, the trademark law is not supposed to stop them. Uh, the what we're seeing today though is all these puns which is basically just a different name for ripoff of a well-known brand to uh, get a free ride on somebody else's reputation really there is no reason whatsoever other than the desire of the botanical garden to parasite on the fame of Game of Thrones as to why they chose to call their services Game of Thorns. There's zero reason. The only reason they did that is because it's a well-known name and they want to get free PR and free marketing at the expense of somebody else's brand. So my position has always been that if you intentionally use somebody else's brand to create a mental link between their brand and your product and service, even if your product and service has nothing to do with their product and service, that should be considered trademark infringement. Because again, this rule where the same or similar brand can be used by two independent companies for two completely different products and services was designed to allow two completely different products and services to coexist without uh, misleading the public into thinking that these products and services come from the same source, right? And without misleading the public that the one product has been authorized by the other company or uh, is somehow associated with that other company. And uh, 
the best example of the proper coexistence is Blue Shield. There is a Blue Shield trademark for medical insurance services, and there's a Blue Shield trademark registered by a company that offers welding services. So nobody who's buying welding services is buying them because they're thinking they're buying them from the medical insurance company. And the same way, nobody who's buying medical insurance is buying that medical insurance thinking that they're buying it from the same company that offers welding services. But more than that, nobody who discovers the welding company decides to do business with them because that name reminds them of the medical insurance company and the other way around. These are completely independent. There was there is no attempt made of a pun of, on the other brand. These just coexist. This is true coexistence which should continue to be the norm. However, the second I can prove that you intentionally used somebody else's brand to draw attention to your product and service because they know that other brand, that should qualify as trademark infringement. And uh, we get more and more of these cases. Everybody's trying to be a smart ass and get away with uh, what they're doing. And we get more and more cases and really hope that soon we will have uh, clarification in uh, the trademark acts of Canada, US, and actually most countries that would make it crystal clear what you can do and what you cannot. And uh, that would make sure that parodies and puns and all of that stuff is not a defense when you're trying to take somebody else's brand and get a free ride on it to sell your products and services. Plain and simple. Now, if you found this video useful, subscribe now, get notified whenever the next video goes live. And if you got a brand you want to protect, go to trademarkfactory.com, book a call with our strategy advisors, and we'll take it from there. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.